Hello, everyone. This is Karen. Hello, everybody. I am Shane. Today we're looking at part one of the Great Mask Divide: Asia versus the West. Ah, oh, oh, too hot. I yeah. don't think I can do this、they、with my mask they on. They can't see our beautiful faces either. That's right. Okay. The vocabulary words are virus. Virus. Betty has been sick with a stomach virus the past few days. Industrialize. Industrialize. This region was one of the first in the country to industrialize. Protective. Protective. It is wise to wear protective clothing before handling dangerous chemicals. Frequently. Frequently. Max was expecting a call and frequently checked his phone throughout the day. Mysterious. Mysterious. Laura is determined to find out more about the mysterious new student at her school. Privacy. Privacy. Stephanie headed to her room to get some privacy. Mm-hmm. So you know, coming from the West, we never see people wearing masks, face masks, in the West. Never. So how did this start in Asia? Why does everybody wear them in Asian countries? I think it was back then when Spanish flu was around. Right. So people in Japan started wearing masks. Yeah. Surgical masks. Yeah. So it was the Japanese really who started it, and then after when there were influenza breakouts. Outbreak. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they would wear them, and then they started wearing them for other reasons like、mm-hmm. allergy, pollution.、Mm-hmm. Whatever, and I think this just started to spread in different countries in Asia. Yeah, so I think nowadays, you know, like in Taiwan, when I first came here, I was really surprised that just during normal times, people are wearing masks in public. You're、it's、right. It's really weird for a Westerner. But I think it's just really a culture thing, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's learn some more about、right. the Great Mask Divide. All right. The Great Mask Divide: Asia versus the West. Whether it's COVID-19, SARS, or H1N1, a virus outbreak often drives the general public to take measures to protect themselves. This is most visible in many Asian countries, where it's common to see people wearing masks in public. However, this practice is almost unheard of in many Western countries. Today's lesson is called. The Great Mask Divide: Asia versus the West, Part One. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. And yes, we are living in the time of the coronavirus. Of course, it's made news all over the world since pretty much the beginning of the year. And one of the things that has become one of the most noticeable parts. Of the coronavirus, apart from a lot of empty places, are when you do see people out there wearing masks, and especially when it first started. Right, there was this whole thing: should we wear masks? Are they good? Do the doctors want us to? Should we not wear them? And of course, if you were traveling around or paying attention to the news, you would see that in parts of the world where we live, you know, China, Taiwan, Japan, Korea, people wear masks all the time.、Mm-hmm. Not just when there's a serious disease going. Around, but in the West, it's very rare. And in the last year or so, when people were wearing masks in the West, sometimes they got, you know, criticized or、mm. even attacked. People would say, "Hey, you're wearing a mask. You must be sick. Get out of here." So、yeah. there is this sort of different culture. Of wearing a mask. So today and tomorrow, we're not going to talk so much about the science, but about the culture of wearing masks and how maybe、yeah. it's time for us to try to understand each other a、let's, little better. Let's go ahead and understand one another and our cultures. Now, mask culture—that's not a big deal, but when there is an outbreak,、mm. masks become very important. Yes, whether it's COVID nineteen. SARS or H1N1, a virus outbreak often drives the general public to take measures to protect themselves. Anyways, before we move on, let's talk about what a virus is. A virus is something that makes you sick. One note: viruses and bacteria are not the same thing. If you do get sick with a virus like SARS, H1N1, COVID-19, influenza, you can't you can't take A corona, excuse me, a rhinovirus. Yes, a cold is a group of viruses that make you sick as well. 
You can't take antibiotics to get better from a viral infection, okay? The best you can do is, well, take care of yourself. Anyways, yes, viruses are very small and they will make you sick in some situations. For example, Betty has been sick with a stomach virus the past few days. She got sick because of this particular virus. Anyways, mm -hmm. go ahead and move on here. All right, and because viruses are often spread through the air, right, mm -hmm. that's why wearing masks when there are viruses around is more common. Now it says this, wearing masks, this is most visible in many Asian countries where it's common to see people wearing masks in public. Yeah, you'll see people wearing masks all the time. There might not be a big virus kind of going around, getting attention, people are just sick, or they want to protect themselves, or maybe someone at home is sick and they're just trying to keep themselves as safe as possible. So in Asia and Japan, Korea, China, Taiwan, these kinds of places, it's very common to see people wearing masks in public. However, this practice is almost unheard of in many Western countries. It's almost something you will never see anyone do in many Western countries outside of a hospital. In a hospital, of course, you would expect to see uh, that. Yeah, growing doctors growing, and nurses, but not out in public, not in Europe, North America, places like that. Growing up, mm -hmm. my dad was a doctor. Your dad was a doctor? When he was not operating, mm -hmm. I never once saw him wearing a mask. There you go. Even in the hospital, wasn't wearing a mask unless he was operating. He just never did it. Doctors don't see the point in some situations. Anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。过去几个月呢，因为新冠肺炎的爆发，有一个很显著的景象，就是看到路上很多人戴口罩，而且在公车上、捷运上，你会看到所有的人都戴着口罩，你不戴好像是异类一样。那不过同学们先前应该有听到一些人啊，在国外戴口罩受到言语羞辱，甚至是人身攻击的事件。其实戴口罩在中西方文化呢是有很大的差异哦。Mike 老师在开场的时候用到 noticeable， noticeable， 它就是形容值得注意的或是显著的，它是在 notice 注意到的这个字后面加上 a b l e 来构成形容词 noticeable。好，那么课文一开始提到说，无论是 COVID-19 新冠肺炎，或是 SARS。还是 H1N1， 我们碰到病毒爆发的时候，大家都会采取自我防护的措施。像在很多亚洲国家，人们就会在公共场所来戴口罩。不过这样的做法在很多西方国家是前所未闻的。好，这边用的 outbreak， outbreak， 它是指爆发、突然发生，常常用来指疾病啊、战争等等不好事情的爆发。好，那么形容词 unheard of， unheard of。它是用来形容前所未闻的。那么单字 virus，virus virus 它表示病毒。那同学们应该前阵子都常听到 coronavirus， 就是在 virus 前面加上 c o r o n a， 构成 coronavirus 就表示冠状病毒了。好 ，Jeff 老师刚刚提到说，病毒跟细菌是不一样的哦。如果感染到病毒，不能用抗生素来治疗。那么老师说的。Antibiotics, 或者是念作 antibiotics， 就是抗生素的意思。它是拼作 a n t i b i o t i c s， 常常用复数型表示。那么 viral infection, viral infection 则是指病毒感染，其中的这个 viral 它是拼作 v i r a l， 是形容病毒的。Infection 是拼作 I N F E C T I O N， 它是指感染或是传染病，所以 viral infection 就是病毒感染喽。好，接华课文中。The Great Mask Divide: Asia versus the West. The use of surgical masks in public likely began in Japan. When the Spanish flu struck the country in 1918, people began wearing masks to try to avoid becoming sick. A practice that would continue during future influenza outbreaks. As Japan industrialized, its development led to increased air pollution, and mask wearing among the population also increased as a protective measure. Over the years, Japanese people began wearing masks more frequently, and other Asian countries later followed suit. Okay, let's start to learn. About surgical masks, mm -hmm. their history, especially when it comes to Asia. Get this: the use of surgical masks in public 
likely began in Japan. Then, when the Spanish flu struck the country in 1918, people began wearing masks to try to avoid becoming sick, a practice that would continue during future influenza outbreaks. So about 100 years ago, the Spanish flu broke out. It was a very bad flu that killed more people than did World War I. Yep. More people died because of Spanish flu than World War I. That is a fact. So in Japan, people started wearing surgical masks around this period of time. Yeah, and then we read, as Japan industrialized, its development led to increased air pollution, and mask wearing among the population also increased as a protective measure. Interesting. So the danger from the flu may have gone away, but there are other things in the air. Of course, other viruses, possibly, because there's flus every year. But we're also learning it was also because of pollution, because of human activity, as Japan industrialized from the 1910s up to the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s. It, Japan was industrializing. This is a word we often use when talking about an economy or studying a country's history. To industrialize is when the country and its economy and its workers go from working in the fields and in farms and in countryside and making things by hand to working in cities, in factories, and making things with big, powerful machines. So it's the change from the time of horses and carriages to cars and trains, from the time of farms to factories, from countries, uh, for countryside to people living in cities. And of course, with cities, factories, pollution, masks, it makes sense. For example, this region was one of the first in the country to industrialize. One of the first places back 100, 200 years ago where they started to build more factories. That is what we call to industrialize. So people were wearing masks as a protective measure. Yeah, they wanted to stay safe. Yes, a, smart. a protective measure is something you do to protect yourself. So here a protective measure is just something that you do so that you don't get sick, so that you don't breathe polluted air so on so forth. You're just staying safe or you're keeping yourself safe. That's what you do when you uh, engage in protective measures. By the way, this word protective is an adjective. For example, it is wise to wear protective clothing before handling dangerous chemicals. Yeah, don't walk into the lab there with all those terrible chemicals in a bathing suit. Make sure you wear the proper protective clothing. Yeah, don't don't not handle just a bathing suit. Don't no. handle dangerous chemicals in your bathing suit. Good yes. tip. And then we read over the years, so since then and continuing till now, over the years Japanese people began wearing masks more frequently and other Asian countries later followed suit. So more and more people were wearing them. They were wearing them at all times of the year, not just because of viruses. And because Japan was probably one of the most advanced countries, other countries would sort of study them, look at them, travel there and go, well, they're doing it. Seems like a good idea. So people in Japan and other places were wearing them more frequently. Frequently, this adverb means sort of often, regularly. It became more common. It's something that was done almost all of the time or a lot of the time. For example, Max was expecting a call and frequently checked his phone throughout the day. He wasn't staring at it all day long, but maybe every five or ten minutes he'd take it out and look at it. He was doing it very, very often. All right, we'll take a break and then we'll be back to learn more about mass culture East versus West. 好，我们先来看看一些亚洲国家是从什么时候开始普遍戴口罩的。好，课文提到说，在公共场所使用外科口罩，很可能是从日本开始的。在一九一八年，当西班牙流感侵袭日本的时候，人们开始戴上口罩来避免生病。那在日后有流感爆发的期间，人们也是继续采取这样的做法。好，文中的 surgical mask 就是指外科口罩，还有 Spanish flu 这个西班牙流感，字面意思是这样嘛？那它其实是指一九一八年的流感大流行，而这个流感不是源自于西班牙哦，是因为在一战期间呢，各国他们严格控制媒体的言论，只有西班牙有大肆报道这个疫情的严重性，所以才会出现 Spanish flu 这个名称。而当时这个流感造成的死亡人数有好几千万。万人比一次
世界大战造成的死亡人数还多哎、欸。好，柯文接着提到说，那随着日本工业化，导致空气污染变得更严重，人们也就更常戴口罩了。那么后来，其他的亚洲国家也如法炮制。好，文中用到 follow suit， follow suit 就表示仿效、照着做或是如法炮制的意思。再来看三个单字 ：industrialize， industrialize， 它是动词，表示工业化 ；protective， protective， 它是形容保护的；还有 frequently。Frequently， 它是副词，表示经常或是频繁地。接华课文中 ，The Great Mask Divide: Asia versus the West. In many Asian countries, masks are seen as an important way to prevent illness, and people with colds are encouraged to wear them to prevent others from getting sick. Furthermore, some people with allergies to pollen or dust feel that wearing masks helps them breathe better. Besides these practical reasons, masks have also become a fashion accessory. Some people like the mysterious look masks give them, while others enjoy the sense of privacy they provide in public. Okay, let's move on. In many Asian countries, masks are seen as an important way to prevent illness, and people with colds are encouraged to wear them. To prevent others from getting sick, so there you go. In Asia, people think masks are great for preventing illness. People don't think that way so much in the West. If you're sick, go ahead and wear a mask. Otherwise, are they really great at preventing the spread of disease? Not necessarily. But again, we do things differently here in Asia. Yet people with colds are encouraged to wear these masks to prevent others from getting sick. And other people think, yeah, I'll wear a mask for others. This will be a way to prevent illness. There you go. Now, wearing a mask because you're sick and you don't want to spread your sickness—that makes sense. But there are other reasons people might wear masks. It says, furthermore, or in addition, and some people with allergies to pollen or dust. Feel that wearing masks helps them breathe better. This is kind of like wearing a mask because of all the pollution that might be in the air. If it's not pollution, it might be dust. You know, sometimes we get those dust storms that come over from China、mm. and stuff, right? For people who have lung and breathing problems, that can be difficult. Or pollen in the spring, especially in some parts of the world, when the flowers open, they release all those little seeds. We call that pollen. It gets blown around. That's how new plants. Are created and and grown, but if people breathe that in and they have an allergy, their body is allergic. Their body doesn't like that pollen. It can basically make them feel like they have a cold for、mm. weeks or months through the spring. So if you have a pollen allergy, it can be really uncomfortable. Wearing a mask would make sense. And that's not all. Besides these practical reasons、mm -hmm. that we just mentioned,、mm -hmm. masks. Also become a fashion accessory、Ooh. here in Asia. How、really? cool! Yeah, some people like the mysterious look masks give them, while others enjoy the sense of privacy that they provide in public. There you go. By the way, if something is mysterious, you don't really know what's going on with it. It might be hard to figure out. It might not be something that you can explain or recognize or identify immediately. Yes, if something is mysterious, it's a mystery. You can't really understand it all at once. And if you try to understand it, maybe you just won't get there. You won't figure it out because this thing is a mystery, or it is mysterious. Yeah, mystery is the noun. Mysterious is the adjective. For example, Laura is determined to find out more about the mysterious. New student at her school.、Mm. Who is that person? They're so mysterious.、It's, I want to learn more. That's right. You have many questions, but very little information. But you're really curious、mm. about what's going on. And one of the things that could be mysterious for you could just be another person trying to have more privacy. All right. If something is private, you can use private as an adjective. It's just for you. It's not for the public. It's just for you and who you choose it to be for. 
If you have a secret, this is your private information, you could tell your best friend or someone, but if someone write, you know, writes down their, their secret private thoughts in a diary and then you open it and read it and tell everyone, you are breaking or invading that person's privacy. Mm -hmm. So something private, this noun form would be privacy. And we all like privacy. It's the reason you would close your curtains at night because you don't want your neighbors to look into your home when you're just sitting around or changing your clothes or something like that. That's your own time. You don't want everyone to know it. For example, Stephanie headed to her room to get some privacy. She just wanted to be alone for a little I, while. I, I don't want to be in public anymore. Right. I want some privacy. That's it. All right, folks, with that, today's lesson is now finished, and it's time for us to say bye-bye. Take care. 在许多亚洲国家，戴口罩是很常见的事。不管是感冒的人啊，对花粉或灰尘过敏的人，还有机车骑士，可能都会戴着口罩嘛。那除了这些比较务实原因之外，口罩也是一种时尚配件哦。有
Hey. What? I'm just saying the truth. You tend to be fat. Tend to be a little fat. Um, I said it's very true. Ah, just really need to pay attention. You know? I got a point. Fine, you've got a point. Okay, I will exercise. <laughs> okay, so, so you've got a point. Um, actually, is A, you this. 点子就是真的是很有道理。Like, <笑>这个点子 ，like yeah， 不是这一个 point， OK？ 可是你这个 point 就是你的道理。对，因为 point 就是你的意见是一个 point。对，你的意一个 point of view。对 ，yes， point、right? of view、嗯。OK， or you could say that makes sense。OK， so sense 就是就是有道理，<笑>有道理。<笑>就是你是讲讲逻辑的，真的有道理。I'm too fat. That makes sense. <笑> Yeah. Or the last one. I'm too fat. True. True. Yeah. True. It's <laughs> 真的 It's 真的 True. Okay. I think we are the best at helping people with their English. That's true. Do I've got a point? I've got a point, right? You got a point. Do, do we have a point? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. I think. Well,、yeah. give us another try. Okay. Okay. You'll see. We've got a point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna help you. All right. Forever. Yeah. Come on. Just that. You've got a point. You've got a point. That makes sense. That makes sense. True. True.